Uh, hey, um, welcome to Creative Places Darndale. Um, my name is Emmanuel Godson and I'm a local fine art painter who's um, involved with the uh, Bell Centre and the Creative Places down in Darndale. Um, I, I'm a classical oil painter so I I'd often do reproductions of uh, old pieces with modern twists. The astronaut is a painting I did, it's um, a celebration of the human race and what we achieved in, in the world. Um, it's, it's painted, um, it's painted just to celebrate, you know, everything, everything we achieved, the technological age uh, and that. Um, but you'll see a portrait of my cat named Levy, who's, he's, he's in a sphere, so the, the, um, the astronaut is reaching out to this metal sphere and there's a reflection of my cat floating in it. So you'll see little little things like this all over my work. Um, the baby painting is, uh, it touches on the fact that our children today are embroiled in technology and, and the social media and everything. So this baby's name is Cody McLeod. So if you think of the word Cody, it's like uh, script, uh, technological script or, or data. It's Cody and McLeod is a reference to the cloud computing. So his name is, is a celebration of that word, not exactly a celebration. Um, you'll see his head is enveloped in a cloud and the cloud looks a little bit like the shape of a rat. So there's something vermin about that. There's something not quite right. And in the play blocks, you'll see the word fate spelled out with the um, Facebook F, the Twitter T, the um, internet E. So it spells out the word fate and it seems to be children's fate today to be embroiled in the, in the technology, which is, it, there, there are positive things to it, but there's um, things to be concerned about as well. So it's, um, the painting is a warning, I think, to um, parents today. Um, the third one we'll talk about is the King of Kings, and it's a simple ode to the idea of the Messiah coming, that this painting is um, the card that's tucked up God's sleeve, that he's going to win the game with. You know, it's, it's about the King of Kings, it's a celebration of the Messiah. Um, and you'll see the king gets smaller and smaller in the image that it's a, like a fractal pattern that it's King of Kings forever and ever. So th that's the idea in it. Um, that, that was one I wanted to paint. It's a little bit more graphic. I, I normally paint like classical oil portraits is what I love to do. So um, I got the chance to paint uh, a bunch of different people from the community in the Last Supper parody painting. It's a, the painting is called the Gagosium Fart and it's dedicated to a multi-billionaire art collector but also at the same time it's a celebration of the community down here and um, you know I got, I got to paint a bunch of different people. There's uh, Linda Hayden in there, Nico and Tony from the Bell Centre. There's a, a few characters like Jim Harper and Paddy McGowan and Pat Fleming they're involved in the art scene down here. There's uh, Larry O'Toole is on the end beside Larry Gagosian. So uh, that, that was an interesting piece. And, and the reason I like it, it's, it's said to be the second largest painting in Dublin, second to uh, MacLeese's uh, the, the Marriage of Eve and Strongo. Um, so, so that's what I do. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of well known in the area in Darndale for um, painting things like uh, Brennan's Breads, the Lifes. Uh, I do some of them sometimes, people love them. So that's what I do, I keep busy about uh, painting. I'm uh, a prolific painter, there's a lot of work down here. And they, they, I'm so lucky to have uh, the wall space in, in the Bell Centre that they, they allow me to put my work up. I feel so privileged and um, I feel so uh, humbled to be included in the community down here. They opened their arms and welcomed me and encouraged me and supported me. And I can't repay them enough uh, for what they did for me down here. Um, I'm also, through the Bell Centre, I'm also involved in the Creative Places Darndale, which um, for the past couple of years I've been involved. I've done uh, painting exhibitions and talks with the school kids and everything, which is uh, great fun. Um, and that's that's what you get from the Creative Places Darndale. We're in an 18 and, and the gang, you know, they, they work so hard to um, get get the art scene going in Darndale, that there's so much to do. and. Um, we, we get involved and I'm, again, I'm so uh, privileged to be allowed to be involved in that.